Hi, I'm Sarah Jane. I'm Rachel Marie. And welcome to this month's design feature. Today we're going to be talking you through how you can bring a touch of retro to your home. Some people may find retro styling quite intimidating, but it's important to remember that this is a really fun style that you can get quite creative with. Today we're at the Long Island Display Home in Southern River. This home is a really nice example of how you can use retro styling without being over the top. Both the entry and study of this home combine new retro pieces with collected items. It's a great tip to remember to do this when styling your own home, as it will give a really nice sense of the theme without being overwhelming. Another thing that you might think about when styling with a retro theme is the colours to use. A lot of people will think that they need to use bright block colours. This is quite reminiscent of the 60s and 70s. Today we use retro colouring in a much more subtle way. In the office of this home, you can see beautiful little pops of colour in the art and accessories. And this is enough to give a hint of the retro theme without going over the top. One of my favourite pieces in this home is the oversized print that we have in the living room over the lounge suite. What I love about this piece um, is that it brings a sense of the 70s and 80s through the more pastel tones. So where we've used the bright pop colours in the study, we've toned it right down into the living room, not only in that piece of art, but also in the cushions and other accessories. What's great about retro theming is that it really enables you to bring in that essence through your furniture pieces. This means that you could use existing furniture items or branch out and buy something new. It's a really good idea to keep your eye out for Verge side collections, antique shops, or anywhere that you could pick up a really good antique find. You don't have to spend a lot of money. In fact, we'd really encourage you getting hands on with the project, reupholstering an armchair, or adding a personal touch through painting an existing item. So here we are in the children's bedroom. Um, the furniture, as you can see, is quite simple and contemporary. However, in the background, we've used an amazing wallpaper that has those poppy elements in the colour. We've also brought the colour down to the floor in some really interesting felt ball rugs, as well as some other pops of retro accessories through the room. It's also really important to think about your kids' rooms and try and incorporate that sense of fun. I think that's what it's really all about at the end of the day. My top tip when retro styling your own home is not to go overboard with the use of iconic pieces of furniture. One or two throughout your home is perfect for adding a real talking point in your home. I think it's really essential to think about the art that you'd like to use when, when considering using a retro style. Because of the popularity of the style, I think there are a lot of options out there that do tend to kind of reflect the old school posters and a lot of the block colours, and that can really limit your colour palette. My tip would be to think outside of the square, get creative, look at what's out there and incorporate some more poppy current colours. For more tips and ideas, please check out our Pinterest board and we'll see you next time.